I'm Vin. I'm sorry. That's Booby. And Vina and Chip. The word of the day is onomatopoeia. So, what does that mean? I'll tell you later. All right. Rammstein. It's Friday. Inshallah, you guys uh, survive uh, the Black Friday madness that's about to ensue. Uh, joking, not kind of joking. Yeah, I know. If you go out in it, remember to love your neighbor. <laughs> Things are not worth people's lives. Or the stress. Mm -hmm. Try to try to make this as, as less stressed as you possibly can have it. Yeah, we used to say last year what you stressed about, what you needed to have, or you needed to give, it's like, totally. are you still, is that still, like, top on your list, or has that thing become not as important to you anymore? Wasting away in the basement somewhere. Yep. Um, if you want to see this one, behind the scenes, you can check her out. Me, the kids, Vinny sometimes, too. My Story Life. And then if you have a desire to be angry and mad at engage me. Engage in political. And engage in political slash religious slash sociological slash psychological discussion slash debate. You can check me out at Middle America's Been and Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's where we all, we do the firesides as well. So what happens is I shoot a video, I talk about some political commentary, and then, you know, a day or two later we do a fireside where you can discuss that video, you can interact with it, or we can just do a regular fireside like we normally yep, do. Yeah, we take phone calls through Skype, so... Phone calls through Skype. Um, okay. Well, this is Hramstein. Mm? Mm? And? This is Kain Lust. Or Kian, Kiani Lust. I don't know how to say it. Maybe we'll, we'll probably figure it out as the song goes on. This is Kain Lust, Rammstein. Okay. You ready? Yep. Let's go. Go. <laughs>
was just thinking about. I went through this fra- phase when I was reading Freud. I just went this quick. Boom! I yeah. was like 18, 19. Yeah. Started reading Freud. I just got out of the hospital, whatever. And uh, this sounds like some of the people that Freud was describing. Like oh, they, really? Like, real issue with their body. Oh. Yeah. Weird stuff. Oh, I, I just feel like he just took a bunch of Freudian issues and then he put them all together. Go ahead. It reminded me, you know that Bible verse that says like basically the person like it was like time to eat but they they like didn't even want to raise yeah, the their hand to their gets mouth. Yeah, the slugger gets his hand into the dish. He's too late <laughs> He's to bring out the jar. That's what it like. That's what I would like. Um, when he said he didn't want to eat. No, there was like. Or the whole right, song. I don't feel like it. Yeah, I don't feel like it. Um, I don't feel like touching myself. I would feel like masturbating, but I don't feel like trying it. Like, it just seems like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but then he says, I'd like to get, I would feel like getting undressed, but I don't like seeing myself naked. Yeah, that one was interesting. See what I'm saying? Like, yeah. He's got some bodily, dis- he's got some issues with his, with his body and with himself. Mm. I don't feel like chewing anything because I don't feel like digesting it. That's like a Freudian thing. Yeah. So it's like, I don't feel like weighing myself, don't feel like lying in fat, you know, so he's not going to eat because he doesn't like the consequences of digestion or his weight or being fat or whatever. Is this like a big thing? I, I actually, I don't think that I've met anybody that was like that or that would have had expressed it like that. Well, yeah, most, they don't express it, but that's, that's, there's people like, you know, it's, if you read Freud, you'd be like, oh. so. Well, I mean, I've a lot heard of people like this. Um, the the chewing and the digesting and all that stuff. I've heard that from girls who are like have eating disorders. Yeah, and it's not that. It's not. It's not that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna get into the minutia. I'll, I'll refer the book to you. You can read it yourself. Oh, but wow. uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's really the world of psychology is a very interesting thing. So I don't know. Like, it just seems to me that he got himself. He got his hands on some Freud, and then he. Uh, Made a song about it. <laughs> Made a song about it. It's very interesting. Wait, did was this something gross? I would feel like it with big animals. Don't feel like risking it. Yeah, it's bestiality, I guess. That's what I thought. I yeah, like, I was like, oh, what's happening here? The only line. <clears throat> don't feel like going from the snow. I'm not sure if that's a good translation. Going in the snow, but he doesn't feel like freezing. Oh, I thought it was he was already in the snow. He doesn't feel like getting out, but at least, but he doesn't want to freeze either. So he's gonna to have to do something. Mm-hmm. Um, I would have no desire to be with big animals, or it says, or fall in love. Hmm. Oh, here it is. That's a better translation. I have no desire to get out of the snow, but I have no desire to freeze. Yeah. So it was what I said. Well, what did you say before? That's what I said. I'm like, I think he's already in the snow, and he has no desire to get out of it. Oh, and he doesn't want to freeze he either, want to so freeze. he's got to do something. Yeah. Well, this is one of those... Um, so... I think big animals is probably a bad translation. Fall in love makes more sense, right? I ha- I would have the desire to fall in love, but I have no desire to risk it. Yeah. yeah That's that probably a better sense. translation. Uh-huh. And that's the one that I'm gonna go with. Me, yep. We had enough of the other stuff. With <laughs> yeah, him. yeah. <laughs> but with him, that's why I was like, it's gotta be. Well, yeah, with him, it, with him, the animals thing is probably the, the actual correct translation. Yeah. But um, because I see fall in love here, I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, I believe that's what the gentleman was yeah, trying that's, to say. That's what the big homie was saying <laughs> is, is uh, fall in love. <laughs> oh, I would like to have. Uh, yeah, no, that that, that's, that's that's not what that's not that's not he didn't say it I, I feel like that you're not reading his lyrics in context of what he showed us about his other lyrical content <laughs> well what what's it a risk if he's doing stuff with animals I mean that doesn't that well doesn't he said big animals so a horse I mean uh, I'm, not, I'm, not just, I'm not talking about it I'm not talking about it <laughs> well don't ask the question babe I didn't I didn't ask you it was a rhetorical question. Well, how was I supposed, supposed to, to know? Answer rhetorical questions. <laughs> how was I supposed to know? Um, all right, this is the last one I'm going to look at. Kind of lost. You know, I almost feel guilty for liking Rammstein songs because they're so simple and they're so. I, I think it was Jan. He was like, they're so formulaic. You know exactly what they're going to do. They're going to come with some some heavy chunky riff for about three minutes, and then you're going to get some soaring. Uh, soaring vocals mm-hmm. um, but I like it 
Yeah, every other translation says big animal, God almighty. All right, well, let's not talk about it. I don't know, we don't need to talk about that. Okay. Um, Jeez. <clears throat> I would feel, don't feel like, uh, don't feel like going from the snow or out of the snow. Don't feel like freezing. I'll just keep lying here and I'll count the flies again. I listlessly touch myself. And See, and that's confusing. I've been frigid for a long time already. What do you mean? Count the flies? You know how they say count sheep? flies in the winter. You know how they say count sheep? Yeah. When you're, when you're, uh... Trying to sleep? When you're trying to sleep? Mm -hmm. Well, if you're dying, then all the flies come around you. Oh, that's really gross. I see what you're saying. See what I'm saying? So, I think, I think he's saying count flies. Like, he's just waiting here to die. But I think everything... Everything in life is a trade-off, and I think this song is... It's a, it, it seems like a very simple song, but... Everything in life is a trade-off. So it, it, it is mm -hmm. true, like, <clears throat> if you're gonna get out of the snow, then you're gonna have to exert some effort to get out of the snow. And if you know. if you if you make the snow metaphorical, yep. right, the thing that's freezing you, because he says, I've been frigid for a long time already at the end. Yeah. So frigid, I'm cold. Yeah. So it's like, you know, by the end of the song you realize that he's just basically been laying in a in a snowbank the entire song. Mm -hmm. And you know that's pretty brilliant writing to mm -hmm. be able to, to do that. And it's yeah, like I see what you're saying. that's what happens though. Like if you live your entire life like counting, and sometimes we'll we'll go back and forth because like you'll want to do some, we'll we'll have some plan or whatever, and you'll be like, well, what about this, this, and that? And I'm like, why are you always destroying the plan before it even starts? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like let's handle it when we get to that situation. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Um, but I mean, but like if you, <laughs> I'll tap it in with this. Because it's the the whole idea of like he wants to do something but he doesn't want to do the other thing. He doesn't no. want to deal yeah. with the trade off. Yeah. You know. Yep. Um, and then if you live in that type of situation, you're gonna you're gonna get paralyzed, which is what happens. You got paralyzed in the snow. Well, a lot of times you have to do what you don't want to do so you can do what you want to do. You know. Right. I didn't want to go to the store today and do all of that shopping. Right. I didn't want to move quickly because we had to come back and record. Like. Right. I didn't want to prep the turkey in a rush but I want to eat a nice meal tomorrow right so I have to do what I don't want to do right. today so I can enjoy tomorrow well what's interesting is everything in this song is presented in the negative there's nothing he actively wants to do I don't feel like this I don't feel like that I thought there was one thing that he said I would feel like masturbating don't feel like trying it so I would feel yeah so that's not the same as I want to do it right so, but I, I think that's like, I think that's like a hallmark of depression where like, that's you don't actively thinking. want to do yeah. anything. You just dislike, you just dislike the state you're in and you also dislike the solution, mm -hmm. which is, which is a bad sign. Mm -hmm. Like if you dislike everything and there's nothing you actively want to do, literally you should go see a doctor. Because mm -hmm. that means you're in trouble. So. Yeah. That's a, not a good place to be. Yeah, and then he's like, I'll just I'll just keep lying here. <laughs> the the animals thing it just kinda threw it off. It like the animals thing to me is like why did I you, thought we weren't talking about it. it. It's just why did you have to go there? Like it, it I, I, I like where the song was going, it was making sense and then you throw the animal thing in there. It's like come on. Well then you always say Point three percent of the population can probably relate to that. Well one. maybe he's the type that it can. I don't think he, he's not. How do you know that? Because if he was, he wouldn't say anything. How do you know? What do you mean, how do I know? That's how they operate. Have you ever ran into anyone that openly admitted to that? No. Okay, then. But have you ever ran into anybody who wanted to make it look like they did? Or would say something like this? I've never met anybody in my, anybody yeah, in my life just, that would have... They're just shocking. They're just trying to make, just trying to make shocking music. It's, it's pretty gross. I'm having a hard time. It seems mm -hmm. kind of random. Yeah, it does. But there are people <laughs> like kind of random. Uh, yeah. I feel like getting undressed, but I don't want to see myself naked. There are people like that. That's terrible. Very sad. Yeah, that's the like pretty terrible feeling. But if you think about it, if if he's so depressed that he doesn't want to get out of the snow, that means he's not taking care of his body, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not something you can. You're not presenting yourself to yourself in a way that you can admire anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, because after a workout, whatever, you do your little... Is that why the mirror's always moved up the door after? You do your little push-up, hmm? 
Well, that's because I need to do the squat on the door. Oh. And then you put the you put the other stuff. I on didn't the, know if on, you were doing one of these. No, and you put the other stuff on the side of the wall, so I can't. On the wall that I was using for the oh. squat, you put oh. it over there, so now I can't use. So you it. have so to use the door. I have to use the door. That's not a very thick door. You might come plowing well, through it one well, day. Well, <laughs> it, it actually creates a tougher workout because I can't I can't rest my entire body weight no. on it like I was the wall, say. so it like concentrates everything. So oh, mm, okay. You know, and obviously the more you do it, then the longer you can do it. But anyway, it, it is true though. Like if you if you're in that situation, you probably don't want to see yourself naked. You know, or undressed yeah. or whatever. You know, which yeah. is which is a tough. That's actually pretty tough, actually. Like, yeah. I, it, like one of the kids came back and said that they, I mean, not even naked per se, but just didn't like their body or the way that their body was. But they were too depressed to get themselves in a situation, in a cycle where they could work out and feel, you know, good about themselves. Mm -hmm. And that would be pretty tough. I mean, I've heard, you know, I've heard, you know, somebody say, I go in front of the mirror and I look at myself and right. I say, you disgust me. Right. So, I mean, I've heard people express that. Like, I've, I've gone through phases of my life where I'm like I don't particularly like what I look like right now but but I was never to that degree where yeah I didn't even want to that's got to be rough have you ever hated your own face nope you never did you never got annoyed with your own self mm. well annoyed with yourself sure but no you see your face in the mirror and you're like you again nope Look <laughs> the way he says no. I, it's such a strange question to me. Yeah, let's, if we bring Zoe, she'll say the same no, thing. No, Zoe way, not a chance. Zoe will be just as confused as yeah. I am. Why would I be annoyed with myself? I'm not the problem. Now you guys <laughs> see what we have to deal with here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you have to deal with somebody who doesn't hate themselves. Shut. Somebody who thinks <laughs> they're... Okay. <laughs> anyway. It's ridiculous. On the one hand, it's like, oh, we feel so bad for this guy. He doesn't like himself. But then when you run into somebody who does like themselves, you're like, oh, oh my gosh. Well, what should I do? Well, nobody's a perfect Be annoyed person. at my own face? There's going to be times it's where ridiculous. You... I'm like one of my favorite people in the world. But I make myself laugh a lot. I enjoy myself a lot. You do? Yeah, I think I'm, I would hang out with me. Yeah, you would. I'd be good you friends with me. You would be so me. loud. Yeah, I'd be good friends with me. We'd have a lot of competition. <laughs> But it, this that is, would be, this, that this, would is be a, this is the collective like psychosis that happens in the world. So it's like it's like this song. Like this is how we're all supposed to be. We're all supposed to no, not like each other, no, not want to be around no. each other, not like ourselves. No, I don't think it should be to that degree. I don't. But then why are you reacting when I say no? I actually like my face, and I actually like hanging out with myself, and no, I don't annoy myself. Like well, why is that such a big crazy thing? Because I think that most people hit points where they're like, wow, I can't believe I did that. But do, do you ever think that you do anything wrong? Well, of course I do things. I'm a Christian. That means you do a lot of things that you're, that means you're so bad, Jesus had to die on the cross for your sins. Like, what are you talking about? Of course I do things wrong. You're just very forgiving of yourself. I'm forgiving of a lot of people. What's that to do with anything? <laughs> You see what he just said? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Moving right along. What, what am I supposed to... Oh, no, I, I don't like myself at all. I'm such a terrible person. Blah, I don't like my fire. Sometimes I annoy myself. If I do something that I annoy myself, I would just stop doing it. Right? And just move forward. Yeah. You, you know, if the kids do something or Zoe does something, it's like, oh, you can't, contr you can't control them. You can't control what another human being does. I can control myself, though. So why would I be... I, I am the least annoyed at myself. Of all the human eight billion people on the planet, <laughs> I am the least annoyed at myself. Oh. I don't think I don't even think I'm annoyed at myself. I'm not. If something's bothering you about yourself, just change it. I don't get it. But you know, let's just sing this song and be unhappy with ourselves. Why? <laughs> so weird. I don't man. think that we should be like that. But <laughs> I just think, wow, you how can you never... I don't understand you. I probably never will. What do you mean? Like, how do you not get, like, annoyed with yourself or think to yourself, why did I do it? Man. No, there's lots of times I'm like, man, if I had to do that over again, I would do it different. But then I say to myself, I'm going to be in that situation again. Next time I'll do it different. Oh, okay. I wish... you make peace with yourself and move on. How? How do you make peace with yourself? 
I never can make peace with myself about it. I'm like, wow, I can't believe I did that. Wow, I should have never done that. Wow, what a terrible person. Blah, blah, yeah. blah. Uh. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it was that six months in the hospital. Who knows? But as far as myself, I, I, I've reconciled pretty, 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 pretty well with myself. Mm. I see that. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Oh. So then you'll never have a problem. If you feel like it with big animals, you'll do it. You won't worry about the risk. That's ridiculous. That's like the silliest thing I've ever heard in my life. I just think that people walk around with a lot of people think it's like humility to say that to say stuff like that. People think it's. Oh, I used to think it was. I don't anymore. Yeah, people think like Snoop Dogg came out with a record and he said, "I'd like to thank myself." <laughs> and people were like, "What are you doing?" And he basically said, "I put a lot of work into this, man, and I, I'd like to thank myself for not quitting, and not and not you know giving up when ninety percent of other musicians gave up." I think he's right. I'd like to thank myself. Yeah, pat himself on the back. And then LeBron, what did he say? He said something crazy too. Yeah, LeBron, LeBron wrote Maybe it's entire, a cultural thing. He wrote an entire Instagram post to himself. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to be the first to congratulate myself. No, you. Do you? <laughs> so, uh, LeBron, seriously, LeBron, maybe. LeBron is on, LeBron is on, on some next level shit with his, but. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Dor Dorian's not like that because I know you're going. You're going to say it's a black thing. No, Dorian's not like that. Dorian's extremely self-critical. He's pretty much like you. Any little that's mistake, not what he says, but yeah, no, you're right. Any little mistake Dorian makes, he's in a puddle of tears like, yeah. immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how do you know it's not a cultural thing? Tell me some some white people that do that. Trump. I don't think Trump feels annoyed oh, with himself right. at all. Remember that right. time that lady asked him? She said, uh, she "What, said, she said, <laughs> what, what mistake? regrets or something do you have?" Like how unfairly the media treats them. Yeah, he talked about them. I'm yeah. like, what is happening here? <laughs> what, what, what would you change about your president? Uh, the way the media treats me. <laughs> okay. He, 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 he does that little shrug. I think there's a lot of people there's that... something he does in his mouth that... <laughs> I think he could go off... You could fall off on the ditch either way into complete self-loathing. I don't feel like not hating myself. You know? Yeah, I know. Which is what he said. You know, you can you can go off the ditch and complete self-loathing, and then you can be a completely self-centered person. But yeah. I don't think a person who is at peace with themselves is completely self-centered. No, I think that people should be at peace with themselves. You know, and I think you know, as a Christian, we should be the it should be the easiest for us. Okay, yeah. you made a mistake. Jesus died for your sins. Don't do it again. You have the Holy Spirit. You got power to not make the same mistake again. All right, tomorrow we're gonna crush this. The next time it comes up, we're gonna crush it. Oh shit, we didn't we didn't overcome it. Well, next time, something else happened. Where was the breakdown? Okay, there was a breakdown. Okay, so I can't wait for this thing to happen again. We'll crush it next time. Shit. There's another thing. And you just That's it. If you you know, you're walking around thinking that God loves you and he made your body and he did all this, and how could you walk around hating yourself? I don't understand it. Uh -uh, I'm just not hating yourself, but I don't know. What? You think I hate myself? Well, no, I'm not saying that you, you per se. I just think that, you know. This guy sounds like he hates himself in this song. Well, he said it explicitly. I don't feel like not hating myself. He, yeah. He pretty much hates everything about himself. That reminded me of. You um, say that you, you're you annoyed by yourself. Not all the time. Yeah. It's been actually a very long time since I felt that way. Okay. But. I don't know. What do you get the song? Well, I'm not at the point you're at, that's for sure. This song, I didn't really know. I'm not really a fan. I think it was 6.7. It's a 6. I feel like there was not a lot of effort in this song. I'm starting to figure you out, Ramstein. You yeah. Got, you, gotta come, you gotta come with a little bit more fluff or something, bro. I mean, it fit with the song, though. But I, I lyrically, I loved it. Because lyrically, I think he's he, he, he communicated he, that he, point. He communicated. He he's he he has Freud in there for sure. Mm -hmm. um, he did a good job. We were doing. We had put on another live video, and in the other one, like they had two cars drive onto the stage, and they had like people that had like pillow yeah, stuffed in into their yeah into their I guess to make it look like they, it was this type of a person, you know, that, that hates yeah, their own yeah. body and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It was interesting. I was like, what what is going on here? 
But then all of a sudden the sound blocked out so we couldn't even use it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, YouTube. Bruh. All, all right. right. Vin out. Sorry out. Gone.